Maine's Secretary of State says she's hearing confusion from voters about how the ranked choice tabulation process works. I spoke with Shanna Bellows to clear up the misunderstandings. Congressional District 2 in Maine, the battle between Bruce Poliquin, incumbent Jared Golden, and independent Tiffany Bond. Over the next two days, town clerks will review the voting numbers, matching ballots to names, logging them in the central voter registration system. Then they report those official results to the Secretary of State. Maine has the gold standard in election security, and that is a paper ballot. And we check those names statewide to ensure that no one is voting twice. If neither Poliquin nor Golden gets 50% of the vote plus one, the Secretary of State will announce a ranked choice voting tabulation. Maine State Police and sworn officers from the Bureau of Motor Vehicles will gather all the ballots and memory devices in secure containers and transport them to Augusta. Given the high stakes and the scrutiny in our elections and the importance of election integrity, together those two teams are engaged in ballot retrieval for the ranked choice voting tabulation. Here's how it works. On the ballot in CD2, voters had four choices, Poliquin, Golden, Bond, or a write-in. If you only made one choice, your vote is exhausted. If you made two choices, such as Tiffany Bond first and Bruce Poliquin second, Poliquin gets your vote added to his total, since Bond had the least amount of votes. Those, the second choice preference on those ballots is being reviewed to see, did a voter who chose Tiffany Bond for number one choose Jared Golden as their second choice or Bruce Poliquin as their second choice? or nobody. Once those second choice votes get assigned to either Poliquin or Golden, we will know who will represent Maine in U.S. Congress. When we open up those locked boxes, the Republicans, the Democrats, the candidates, the representatives, everyone will be invited to that party. It is a transparent process. There is no counting happening behind closed doors. Bello says that the tabulation will be on Tuesday. Well, and choice voting on a lot of people's minds right now, but you and Secretary Bellows talked about quite a bit today. Yeah, you know, she said that the voter turnout overall, high, mm. strong. Now, they're not putting out any official numbers until they get all of the official results that we just talked about, right? Yep. All of the town clerks are going to go through, double check all those num uh, votes, make sure they match the names in the central voter registration system. Once they have the official results, then they'll be able to tell us, hey, this was the, you know, fill in the blank, highest a voter turnout ever right, or right, something right. like, you know, some kind of superlative like that, a statistic, right? But they will not announce anything like that until they have the official numbers, and that will be in the next two days. So they'll have those numbers, and then they'll do that ranked choice uh, tabulation on Tuesday, and then finally we'll have an answer in this race of who's going to represent Maine in Congressional District 2. Lots of people keeping their eyes on this. Yep.